welcome so in this lecture today we are going to see the relationship between unitary hermitian and anti hermitian matrices this is not very important for mathematical point of view because it is not going to be asked in any of the exams but it is very important for quantum mechanical systems where where you want to be the reason why the time evolution operator has been written as an exponential of i something h operator or something like that so if you want to answer that why you have to know about these types of transformation that is unitary hermitian and anti hermitian matrices so as i have already told you that hermitian matrices and anti hermitian matrices how they are related if there is a hermitian matrix h if your h is your hermitian matrix and you want to be an anti hermitian matrix let, let it called be uh, x that is your anti hermitian matrix anti hermitian matrix and you want to uh, correlate with with uh, correlate between them a hermitian and anti hermitian matrix hermitian matrix have a property that h dagger should equal to h h dagger uh, is equal to h and anti hermitian matrices has a property here the x dagger is equal to minus of x so i have stated in where i have told you hermitian and anti hermitian matrices that these are related if i multiply a number that is k to an hermitian matrix and this number is purely imaginary purely imaginary then this matrix will be anti hermitian so the thing was if i multiply a purely imaginary number to an hermitian matrix then it will become an anti hermitian matrix and i have proved it there also how they are related so i can write if i if h is hermitian if h is hermitian then i times h i is the ident iota operator i is equal to under root minus 1 and it is a purely imaginary number so i can consider it as like k here so i h is your anti hermitian matrix okay anti hermitian now let me have a uh, correlate these two matrices with unitary matrix how they are related so i have just stated in one line what i have showed or uh, said you here now if i form an exponential of an matrix see exponential of let us say that is a exponential of matrix a some matrix this is another matrix b see you have known the exponential of a number that x was a number and you replace x by 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial now i am saying that exponential of a where a is a matrix or in quantum mechanics a is an operator operator is nothing but a matrix here so it is identity plus a plus a square by 2 factorial plus a cube by 3 factorial Th that is just a definition how an exponential of an operator or exponential of a matrix is defined where a square is a times a a cube is a into a into a and so on so now we can define an another matrix which is b that is exponential of any matrix a now let us have the dagger of that matrix b so from here if i take the b dagger that is exponential of a dagger so this is e raised to power a dagger okay so that was just from definition so from here till we have concluded that if b is equal to exponential of power a then b dagger is equal to e raised to power a dagger so let me call this as equation 1 and this is equation 2 let us have a multiplication of that multi multiply equation 1 and 
what one will get is b b dag b dagger is equal to exponential of power a into exponential of a dagger see now here is one important thing you know that if e raised to power x into e raised to power y then you can simply write it as e raised to power x plus y where x and y are numbers what happens when these are mat matrices then e raised to power a into e raised to power y can you write e raised to power a plus b that is a question and the very answer is that you cannot write a raised to power a into a raised to power b as a raised to power a plus b unless and until if a and b commute with each other so if a and b commute with each other then there is no problem with writing this so you can simply replace this by equal to so if these matrices a and b or so called the operators commute with each other commutation means if a b minus b a is equal to 0 this bracket means then you can write this formula as some like this then multiplication if a and b does not commute then you cannot write exponential of a into exponential of b as e raised to power a plus b since these are two matrices that is a and its dagger so they will always commute with each other so from here you can see that b b dagger is equal to e raised to power a into e raised to power sorry e raised to power a into this this will become positive plus because they will commute with each other a dagger so till now we have defined an matrix b its exponent that is exponential of any matrix a and we have just taken this dagger so let me conclude it here so this was the thing which i have stated in last 5 minutes so now let us have a condition and the condition is if a is anti hermitian then what happens let us see if a is anti hermitian then a if a is anti hermitian then a dagger is equal to minus of a then b b dagger is equal to a exponential of a plus minus a that is exponential of null null operator that is identity see what is b b dagger identity reminded that is called a unitary matrix means b is your unitary matrix so unitary matrix is related to the exponential of anti hermitian matrix that that was all which i want to state it here that b is unitary if a is your anti hermitian matrix anti hermitian matrix okay so that was the thing which i wish to tell you here that if it there is a unitary matrix and it is exponential of any matrix then that matrix should be an anti hermitian matrix so let me write one more thing so that was the thing which i have stated it here so you can write any unitary matrix any unitary matrix let i am recalling unitary matrix as u hermitian matrix as h and anti hermitian matrix are let's say a so you can write any unitary matrix as exponential of a where a is an anti hermitian matrix and you can always relate a with some i times h where h is your a uh, purely imaginary number and h is your hermitian and a is your that anti hermitian okay so that is written as e raised to power i h so any unitary matrix can be written as an exponential of anti hermitian matrix and in terms of hermitian matrix you have to multiply with some purely imaginary number so that was the thing which i uh, want to state which i want to relate it here in the unitary and hermitian and anti hermitian matrix that is a very important thing where let us see see when you i don't know whether you have studied the quantum mechanics course but you when you will study you will encounter this thing that is time evolution operator 
time evolution operator that u is written as e raised to power minus i h cap t by h cut where h t is your time h cut is your planck's constant so h cut is h by 2 pi basically so h is your hamiltonian h is your hamiltonian and hamiltonian is always a hermitian matrix hermitian matrix okay see this matrix is your hermitian h then i raised to power h this i into h will become an anti hermitian matrix so this is become anti hermitian matrix so if this is an anti hermitian then exponential of anti hermitian matrix what is the property of u that must be unitary so that was the thing uh, that the time evolution operator is always unitary and where it is used if you have any state psi at x is equal to 0 and at x is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 let me write it as comma here so it is x is equal to 0 and time is equal to 0 and you want to relate it as another psi that is x comma t then that must is related by a unitary transformation and that transformation is unitary transformation and that is called the time evolution operator if you have any state psi at x is equal to something and where initial state what time this is basically time and you want to find the state of that system at any another time that as t then you must multiply a time evolution operator u such that that you you can get psi at any time t why this is used in quantum mechanics because probability has to be conserved if probability is conserved then this time evolution should have unitary and if u is unitary then exponential is only written as i times the hamiltonian that is hermitian so that was a correlation between the mathematics which we have learned about learned till here that was hermitian and anti hermitian and these types of matrices and today uh, i don't know whether you have learned this or not the time evolution operator but that was the thing where mathematics and physics combine and you will really enjoy these things so hope you have understood if you don't know the time evolution operator don't worry when you will study the quantum mechanics course or when i will uh, be dealing with quantum mechanics then i will cover all these things one again how this is unitary and anti hermitian so this was all about the special matrices so in the next lecture we will be dealing about a similarity transformation of matrices how to diagonalize a matrix why there is a similarity transformation what are the properties of that matrix which transforms one matrix to another matrix what we saw okay so do subscribe the channel for latest update thank you